Once we have created a template script, we will need to load the timings for each run. Each subject in the dataset has 12 timing files in their func folder, corresponding to each run of functional data. For example, the first few lines of the file sub1 task object viewing run01 events.tsv looks like this. We need to extract the first onset time for each condition for each run and concatenate them into a single timing file per condition. Later, we will use this timing file to fill in the remaining fields of our script. Using a terminal, the code in the more info box down below will extract the first onset time for each condition automatically, looping over all of the subjects in the dataset. Copy and paste that code into the terminal, first making sure you are in the directory haxby underscore data that contains all of the subjects. This will generate files labeled bottle.txt, cat.txt, and so on, one for each condition, and place it in the appropriate subject's func folder. The contents of sub1's bottle.txt file, for example, will look like this. Note that these onset times are relative to the start of each run. For example, the first value of 228 means that the bottle condition occurred 228 seconds into the first run. The next value indicates that 192 seconds into the second run was when the bottle condition was next presented, and so on. In the previous chapter, we created a template script from the SPM GUI and labeled it Haxby underscore script. This also created the script Haxby underscore script underscore job dot M, which contains the SPM code that runs all of the commands specified in the GUI. We will edit the script to read the timing files that we just created. To open it from the MATLAB terminal, type open Haxby script job dot M. We will first need to unzip the gzipped functional files so that they can be read by SPM. From the terminal, navigate to sub1 func and type gunzip asterisk dot gz. It's going to take a while to do this, so I'm going to fade out and come back when it's done. When it has finished unzipping the files, navigate back to the subjects directory, then go into the editing window and replace dot nii dot gz with dot nii. Around line 58 is where the fMRI specification module is. Before the onset times are defined, enter the following code. I'm going to enter mine just after line 57. You can copy and paste this code from the more info box down below. What this code does is load each text file for sub1 into a variable. In this case, the variables will be labeled bottle, cat, and so on corresponding to its timing file. Remember that when we created this script in the GUI, we left the onset times undefined. In the script, you will see the string undefined in all caps that was not filled in from the GUI. We will replace these with the appropriate values from the text files that we just loaded. For example, the first onset field in my script is at line 67. Since this is the onset time for the bottle condition for run 1, I will need to extract the first row of the file bottle.txt. I can assign it to this field by replacing undefined with the string bottle and then parentheses 1 comma colon. We will then do this for the other conditions as well. These need to be replaced for each condition for the first run and then done for each of the other runs. Again, this is tedious, but you'll see that once we've done it once with slight modifications, we can run it for all of the other subjects. When we fill in the onset times for the other fields, we will need to extract the correct row. For the second run, for example, the code to extract the onset times for the bottle condition would be bottle two comma colon. So I'm going to show this for the first run, the beginning of the second run, and then fade out, and we'll go on with the rest of the video. You can download a template script that has all this already filled in from my GitHub 
which there's a link to in the more info box down below. Lastly, add this line to the end of the script in order to run the code. SPM job man, in single quotes, run, and then MATLAB batch. And then run the script from the terminal by typing the name of the script, Haxby script job. It should take about 15 minutes to run, so I'll fade out and come back in a bit. When the script is finished, you should see a design matrix that looks like this. Each run should look like a separate square with the tiny white squares within each run representing a block for each condition. Each of these blocks has been estimated as a separate beta map, which we will use as both training and testing data for our classifier. We will use those with an MVPA package called the decoding toolbox, which we turn to next.